gift if somebody is postponing dating you or being with you. They are not the person for you. Don't even think of looking at me crazy. You know you don't mean that literally as soon as the freaking coronavirus came to pass it has gotten so hot outside ah! sounds like things are falling okay hey you guys welcome to my channel if you're new if you're subscribed thank you for tuning in I have a really fun video that I'm doing today so basically what I wanted to start doing are girl chats but also drive with me's because um, I drive a lot so I was like why don't I just record while I drive but I also talk about a girl chat topic so if you guys do like this video I will continue to do more just let me know and let me know any topics you want me to talk about or anything like that of course I'll put polls on this video so you guys could interact with me and let me know if you agree disagree or just your thoughts and opinions on everything that I'm talking about I literally just went to Target. I'm gonna show you guys when I get to this stoplight what my freaking camera is on right now because this is the epitome of ghetto. Like, this is, if you haven't seen my lit slash trap playlist video, I did a similar thing and I literally just have my camera duct taped to my car. Uh, yeah. I need to get a mount if I'm gonna do a lot of these videos because, uh, I can't continue to do this <laughs> so let me show you guys what this looks like actually I want to make this light hold on I need to make this light or I'm gonna get really pissed off Ooh. the reason why I need to make this freaking light is because every single light by my campus is slow as hell like I will be sitting at the stop sign forever and that really makes me so mad because I'm just like okay I'm just trying to get to where I need to go nobody is trying to see Nobody is trying to be at this stoplight for like 30 minutes. I don't have time to buy a mount right now and like everything that's being shipped out right now is gonna take a month to get here. So anyways, today I wanted to talk about situationships. Now, I don't remember and I like any older person that I talk to, they never had a talking stage or like situationships or anything like that. It was like they're always just dating. And what I started to think about is why don't people just date anymore? I feel like there's such a negative stigma around dating these days. I feel like people now, they feel like when you date somebody, that means you're dating to marry them, which isn't the case at all. People tend to forget how young we are and they wanna move so fast. They wanna get married so fast and they wanna be with someone forever so fast and it's totally okay to just date for fun. I don't know why people feel like you just need to date somebody to marry them or anything like, of course, if you're just dating somebody for fun you need to communicate that and if you're just dating somebody you know for something serious you also need to communicate that but I just feel like we kind of lost touch with that and we're taking it way more serious than what it is and for some reason so many people have commitment phobia and I honestly think when somebody has commitment phobia it also trickles down to what they're going through in their personal life so for example I feel like if it's hard for somebody to commit to somebody it's kind of hard for them to commit to other areas in their life or maybe they personally don't really feel you because in my other video I talked about in my unpopular opinions relationship slash dating I talked about how I feel like everybody knows what they want when they first meet somebody and I still stand by that like very very strongly so I feel like if everybody knows what they want when they first meet somebody, why are you wasting your time talking to somebody for months? You guys know what I mean? Like, to me, it's just very weird that you would talk to somebody for months on months on months. When, first of all, you guys could just be friends. Second of all, you guys could just date. Because 
me personally I feel like the talking stage and dating is pretty much the same thing the only difference is the talking stage you don't have labels and you guys don't have that pressure on yourselves that your boyfriend and girlfriend and yes that does work for some people but for a lot of women I notice we do like stability we do like remaining loyal to one person that's why it's very hard for us to commit to a talking stage because we're just like okay like what are we doing here are we being exclusive da, 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 da. and a lot of times the guy doesn't understand that so he goes and talks to other women and he's like oh well I thought we were just talking I didn't know we were exclusive that kind of stuff and I feel like women we need to be way more hard hitting on what we want from a man I feel like so many women are just so scared to tell a man yes I want to date you and if you don't want to date me then off basically that's what I'm saying and I just feel like it's totally okay to let somebody know that it's okay to let somebody know yes I I'm only looking for a relationship right now and if you don't want to have a relationship we're not gonna work or I just want to have fun right now if you don't want to have fun this is not gonna work and obviously your opinions and what you want from a person can change throughout time but at the same time okay think of it like this it's really hard when you tell somebody at first that you just want to have fun and then later down the line you want to date them like a lot of times I have noticed personally even with experiences I've had or like experience of people I know have had it's very hard to just kind of switch and that's why it's just very important to get somebody who's mature because only an immature man wouldn't understand that and wouldn't kind of be on the same level as you because our opinions and what we want from somebody can constantly change, right? So it's just so important to be with somebody who can communicate efficiently and who's mature because if you start wanting to be with a man who doesn't know how to communicate, he is very one track minded and he just doesn't understand where you're coming from it's gonna be really hard to date him so I honestly just feel like the talking stage is very outdated I feel like it's either you're dating somebody or you're not dating somebody and this just works so much better for women and what we want um, out of a relationship and out of love because we like I said we love stability we love having somebody that we can call ours and ours only that's just basically what I've noticed is in a lot of women's nature maybe not all of you guys but I know most of you guys feel that way so my advice for people who are in the talking stage or if they don't they're in the talking stage and you're so deep into it and you like them so much but you don't know how to tell them that you just want to date like you're over this or like you're telling them that but they're not listening my advice is you it's time to give ultimatums you can't just let somebody run the relationship a relationship should never be one sided with like who it's ran by because that can turn something into a very toxic and a, a kind of an abuse of power situation I feel like you should tell them it's either we're dating or we're not and if they choose to not date you then this is not the person for you because you want somebody who wants you no matter what like why would you want a guy who's questioning if he wants you why would you want a guy who is isn't even sure about you you want somebody who's extremely sure who wants you who only has eyes for you that's the most attractive thing in anybody so if he does tell you no I don't I don't see you like that or like I don't want to date you this is not the guy for you it's just not and it hurts because I understand you like him a lot but at the same time you have to do what's best for you and if you're ready for love and you're ready for a relationship like what's the problem with you telling somebody this is what you want so that is basically how I feel on situationships and the talking stage to get out of the talking stage you need to be bold you need to give ultimatives because at the end of the day you need to be secure with yourself and being alone with yourself are you a fucking idiot like what dude like the dumbest shit anyways I'm sorry you guys so okay I'm going to get a smoothie 
because I really was craving Einstein smoothies. So let me put my mask on and I will be right back. Let me put my mask on. Ah! This is kind of iconic. I, I really like how I look with the mask. I think I look so cute. Okay, you guys, I'll be right back. Hi, can I get a mango pineapple smoothie? Sorry. Can I get a mango pineapple smoothie? We no longer have them. No. Uh, do you guys still have the smoothies? We don't have the smoothies at all anymore. They were discontinued in January, but we were continuing selling them because we had product and we ran out of product and we can't buy them more. So we no longer have the smoothies. Aww. Uh, then can I just get a... Do you guys have slush? I'm sorry? Do you guys have slush? Like the slushes? Um, I put this down. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. That's okay. Can I just get a regular fry then? Instead of what? I'm sorry? A regular fry. Okay. Anything else you need today? That's it. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Bro. I'm so upset that they discontinued the mango pineapple smoothie. What the hell? That was my favorite thing at Dairy Queen. <laughs> I gave you a large fry, okay? Thank you. Thank you. He gave me a large fry. So to wrap this up, you are worthy of somebody being exclusive with you. You are worthy to date. You are worthy to be loved. If somebody is postponing dating you or being with you, they are not the person for you because the person for you will be sure that they want you, okay? So don't wait for anybody. Don't put your life on pause for anybody because you're going to regret it. I swear you will, you guys. Listen to me. If you are a young girl, you need to listen to me. You are going to regret putting your life on hold. I put my life on hold for a man once and that will never happen again <laughs> um, and you lose so much time you lose so much energy just doing that but it is a learning lesson sometimes we have to just learn that on our own we can have people tell us this all day but we will not listen because a lot of us just have to go through it on our own because we think this person is different and we think this person is somebody we will never meet again that is not the truth I am telling you guys please listen to me on that but that is it for this video. This is a very different video. If you guys enjoy this, just let me know. I will record some more for you guys if that's what you want. It was really fun and I do plan on making this a series. So subscribe to my channel if you do like this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.